Hello Joey, I'm now going to show you how to connect this power supply box when you receive it to your machines. Start. So we now start to... Uh, first of all, you need to open the power supply box anyway, of your machine and then unplug the... This is 25 pins uh, plug for the fiber laser sources from control board. This is 15... Anyway, 15 plug from the, for the gobble head. Okay, this is a um, port for the fi uh, five for five uh, for power supply. So you need to unplug all of this. This is the USB. Uh, this is the USB uh, connect to the computers. You will need to unplug these four wires from the, your control board, and then uh, you need to connect all of them uh, again. Okay, I will show you how to connect. You need to. Connect this 15, five piece uh, plug for the family source into the plug from my control box. You see, from here, you need to connect this uh, 15 pins uh, plug into the 15 pin plug from my control box. You see from here, okay. This USB cable from my control box should connect it to your computers. Okay, should connect it to your computers of the of, of the of your uh, machines. And uh, you need to connect two motor wells from from power supplies to the motors of the of, of the rotaries. Also, at last, you need to connect this uh, plug. Uh, into 110, 110, 60 hertz power supply. Then the connection is finished. Okay, the connection is finished. Then and last, the most important thing is you need to uh, fix this uh, rotary on the 2D work tables. Okay, and then this working pieces should exactly on the on the bottom of the uh, gobble head see you make them a vertical to each other's before markings okay here this one should exactly on the bottom of the uh, gobble head so this is basically uh, how you connect this power supply into your system uh, and also how you uh, need to input the, the uh, position the rotaries then the next video I'm going to show you how to uh, work on the uh, uh, another and, and the last most important thing is there are um, three but there are two bottoms on the, my power supply box. Okay, so if you just need to do normal engraving, you no need to uh, push these two bottoms. You just to uh, connect it and then do uh, do normal two uh, D surface engravings, flat surface engravings, and in the software. Uh, just like what you do usually but if you use the rotary for marking for vector files and then you need to push these buttons okay so before you are uh, used to this rotaries to mark some uh, vector files continuous vector files okay but if you need to engrave use this rotary to engrave some uh, uh, jpg or bitmap files you need to push this both these of two buttons before engravings okay this is also the control point so I will send you um, um, an exact uh, file to explain all of this in details and how you use connect control box and how to uh, use the machines